Okay, guys. I will do a quick video now of the of a city in Germany which is in the uh, the area Lower Saxony. So this is the capital. It's the capital of the of the um, the state uh, Lower Saxony. It's called Hanover. And uh, in Germany, you will have uh, strict Corona rules if you enter a store. I'm not informed actually how it is in Ireland. I don't know at the moment, but here you had to be negative to enter shops. So that's not it's not like in Ireland you go in the shop and everything is great. You need to be negative. That means you can you can uh, you can check yourself here in the uh, they have three corona stations where you can check yourself and you can do a test and I did it today and I'm negative I'm negative so O2 you know O2 from the UK I know in Ireland O2 has uh, done the exit it's not existing anymore in Ireland because 3 bought O2 but in the UK it's existing as well so and this is the city center this is the city center in Germany and you can see the buildings here they are after the second world war they have these buildings and as I said one of the main pro main things you need to know if you enter to Germany is the fact thing I know you can't compare Germany with Ireland but that's not the case to say I'm I'm using my Irish plan here I will do it and I will do it in the future I told you why because the phone prices here are totally crazy and I have unlimited data in the EU and uh, there is no plan in Germany which allows you to have unlimited data in Ireland that's not existing you will have a limit on all plans here if you travel with it outside from Germany so it's not unlimited but anyway that's not my problem I'm on Vodafone X I have unlimited data in Ireland and in the EU and in Switzerland and so on as well as Curaçao so that's not my problem oh and there are some interesting people they are talking something in German So, yeah, in Germany, you have to know it's a big country. Uh, it's a very big country. It, they have 80 million people. And as I said, every time 80 million people are 80 million people, and 5 million people are 5 million people. So you can't compare Ireland with Germany. You can't compare it with the UK as well, but uh, that's not. Uh, there is no reason. There is no reason if you move to Germany 
that you throw your Irish data plant away. There's really no reason. I looked at the, the, the data plants here and the mobile phone companies. You have Vodafone. You have Vodafone as well. But what you don't have here is Switzerland roaming, Curaçao roaming and so on. You just have the EU and that's it. So if you travel with a German Vodafone car to Switzerland, you pay high roaming charges. And with Vodafone Ireland, I have it for free. I have Switzerland for free. I have St. Martin for free. I have uh, St. Kitts for free, the island St. Kitts, where we have 28 degrees now. And I will have, uh, I will have um, uh, Bonaire, the island on the Netherland, Netherlands uh, and Tilt, as well as uh, St. Martin. They are all included in the Vodafone X plan. The Vodafone X plan is the, is the young prepaid plan from Vodafone Ireland, which gives you unlimited data for 20 euro in all these countries. So I really don't need to care about German data plans. Because here in Germany, the data plans are not cheap. They are overpriced. And uh, as I recommend you, you don't need to uh, you, do, you really don't need to pay attention to that. Because, sure, I'm having a German number, but only with a prepaid SIM card. And at the moment it's not active, because I'm not needing it at the moment. But I won't go, I won't go here and make a contract, because in Ireland you have so much great mobile phone deals, I don't need to pay attention to it. No. I don't pay attention to it. Every Irish person has a better vote of phone plan than here the people. Than the people here. Since one and a half years, I'm using my Irish data plan in Germany. Since last year in June. So that's 1.5 years ago. And they didn't charge me a penny. So I go to... I, I went to the online support of Vodafone Ireland. I told them, I told them, I live in Germany with an Irish data plan. And I told them, if there are any problems to live with an Irish data plan here, because of the roaming charges, normally you had to, you need to use it. Uh, after four months in Ireland otherwise you will get charged but they don't care about the rule and it's great that's so great okay as you can see they have some shops here as well but um, the, one of the biggest problematics I see in Germany is the following. Every time you had to, uh, every time you, you want to go in a shop, you want to go in the clothes shop, you want to go to, to uh, Primark, it doesn't matter. It doesn't totally matter. Every time you had to, to test you, to test yourself. Every time you had to test, you make, a, you had to do the Corona test. Every time. So, and if you are positive, then you can go into your home. 
and uh, this is yeah these are the rules here different country bigger country maybe they are they are more more scared about it here as an island an island you don't need to be scared we have 4.9 million people so you can't there is no question about it if the whole island if the whole island are infected then they are infected and then it that's not good so it's good that our that the government in dublin said that we put a, we put uh, something uh, on it and we closed the we closed it we closed it in december as well in december the whole island were closed they were shut down we had some shutdowns in december in ireland and i think the irish government and the irish people they don't want to have it again they don't want to have it again a shutdown because of the coronavirus and as you know the coronavirus is already in the uk it's there it's there so ireland had to do to to be very carefully because we are partner from the uk we sit next to the uk so we have to be very very carefully what we are doing and i don't think it's a good idea to open for tourists 